This morning I went back and looked at the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour rules for what's going to happen next year in 2025. And doing the video after every tournament has been very productive and allows everyone to know where they stand. And we're going to look at those standings right now. So if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate everyone who's been who's turned on the channel, subscribed, watched. It's been a humbling experience lately. It really has, and I really do appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, click it and become part of the team. Now, after every tournament, I've went back in and updated the spreadsheet on where the anglers stand and who's in and who's out. And in doing so, I've always been very forward and honest and said, look, I'm not deleting the year that could be the worst because this year could be the worst versus 2019. But with one tournament left, I thought it was really important to look at who is really in for the 2025 season if it ended or started right now. So I'm gonna be brutally honest. I have read how they're going to do it and felt like I kind of knew what was going on. But then I went back and reread it five times today and this morning and then realized there's so much more to what's going to happen that I needed or should make another video. So here's a couple of things I realized. If you are in the BPT since the start of 2019 to now, that would be six years, you can remove your worst two years. And while this might not seem like a big thing, it really is drastic on where it changes people in the possibility of making the 2025 season. Now the top 45 anglers from that angler of the year standings over that six years, minus two years, are the first 45 that are automatically in. Major League Fishing will then take the next 15 anglers from angler of the year points in 2024. Yes, it's that confusing. Then what Major League Fishing is they're gonna take five anglers from the BPT, or the Invitationals, excuse me, and those anglers will move into the Bass Pro Tour 2025 season, which will then be condensed down to 50 or something like that. 2025 will be 65, 2026 will be 50. So who are the names on the list of the 45 that are automatically in? Well, Jacob Wheeler, Ott Defoe, Jeff Sprague, Elton Jones Jr., Michael Neal, Dustin Connell, Brent Ayler, Justin Lucas, Jesse Wiggins, Andy Morgan, Mark Rose, Brian Thrift, Bobby Lane, Adrian Avina, Zach Burge, Edwin Evers, Takahiro Amori, excuse me, Wesley Strader, Jeremy Lawyers, Stephen Browning, Mark Daniels Jr., Andy Montgomery, Todd Faircloth, David Dudley, Fletcher Shryock, Elton Jones, Casey Ashley, Luke Clawson, Anthony Gagliardi, Chris Lane, Gerald Sfoyer, Mark Davis, Greg Vinson, Josh Bertrand, James Elam, Brent Chapman, Skeet Reese, Jared Littner, Brad Lee Roy, Keith Poche, Fred Rubanis, Jonathan Van Dam, Ryan Salzman, Terry Scroggins, and Randy Howell are on that top 45 as it stands right now. So the 15 that are in right now, we're really 14 because I wrote someone's name down twice and I'm just realizing it, are Drew Gill, Matt Becker, Nick LeBrun, Cole Floyd, Martin Villa, Dylan Hayes, Jacob Wall, Dean Rojas, John Hunter, Ron Nelson, Dave Lefebvre, Justin Cooper, Nick Hatfield, and Britt Myers. Those guys are pretty much in if it ended today. Now, of course, this can change after the next event, but we'll keep on top of it and see what we come up with and where it happens or where it stands after that last tournament for the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. Now, I am never always right. I know that people are wrong. I'm gonna be, mis I'm gonna be wrong now, I can be wrong in the future, it just happens. It's about owning up to your mistakes if you make them and just being open and honest to admit to the mistake and correct it if you can. Now this is not something that I thought was remotely possible at the beginning of the year because they're just this person was just too far down the line. And what happened to James Watson about being kicked out of the Major League Fishing probably came back to hurt him in a lot of ways, but he's been very successful with his new merchandise line and all the best to everybody who wears it and likes James. He is, he's got a big following, that's the truth. Here's the truth. If you gave James an average finish for the year and just said, well, his average finish over the six years he was with BPT was probably about 59th place. Now you think 59, you're only taking the top 45. Well, when you removed his two worst years, which just let's just say this year, and I think one year he came in 73rd, 
you get a lot of 50, 55 places, 55th places. And with as many anglers that have left the BPT, there's a really good chance James qualifies. I will apologize first and foremost because I didn't think it was possible. But the truth be told, if you look at the statistics and you look at, and even though we, even though we could say, oh, no, just removed this year. There were a couple tournaments James probably would have done well. The Chowan River and this last one. I can say that I think those were tournaments he would do really good in. He isn't a real big scoper that I know of. And those tournaments are the kind of fishing he likes to do. So we could give him some additional points here. And probably he would have moved up a little bit. But when you look at the grand scheme of things. The overall picture. And if we just say okay let's give him at this average finish throughout his six years and then you remove his two worst years James comes in right now in that 41 42 spot and that's saying a lot for for him because he really hasn't he wasn't really a big producer on the BPT but with the people that have left and then his average finish and just being reasonable about the statistics I fairly confidently can say I think he would have made it but of course he had that issue and He's made the best of it for sure, but I'm just going to be honest with it. I'm just going to keep it real. I think he makes it, and I'm really surprised by that. I actually have him in, I'm looking at my notes, 39th, but he isn't there, and who knows. This is just something I thought I'd bring up because I know people are going to ask about it, and they're going to put the hashtag in here, and rightfully so. I don't mind that, but I think James might have made it. That's just what my statistics say. So did your angler make it in? If we ended it today, that's what I want to know. Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you very much. Cheers.